Welcome back everyone, Connor John here. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I've been posting Macro Mondays recently like these. Now, I started making these because I recently bought the Leoa Pro Lens, which was a $1,600 impulse buy, thanks to Daniel Schiffer. Now, this lens is just bananas. It's bonkers. It will blow your mind with what you can do with it. But this isn't my first time trying to play with macro. Before I bought this lens, I had $30 extension tubes. So today, we're going to have some fun, and we're going to put these two lenses to the test and see if the price difference is really worth it. Now, I know there are some shots that you just need the probe lens for because of its size and its shape, but stick around because I'm going to show you a tip on how to get that probe lens look without forking out 1600 bucks. So I just got some stuff that I had laying around the house, some coffee beans, honey, one of my watches. While you're watching these clips, try to guess which one is the probe lens and which one are the macro extension tubes. Let's get to it. I mean, come on, for 30 bucks, that's not that bad. These extension tubes were on my Tamron 28275 f2.8. So looking back at the footage, not that different than the probe lens. Now, there's a lot of variable factors to keep in mind when trying to compare these two because they're so different in a way, even though they're both macro. But if you're just wanting to get into videography or you want to try to mess around with some macro stuff, but you think you need to get a super expensive lens like the Leoa Probe, now you know, these $30 extension tubes, you just attach them to a lens that you already have. Looking at these shots, I can definitely see, especially in the watch shot, that the probe lens is a little bit sharper. Now that should come at no surprise with the cost of the lens on top of the fact that you can only be as sharp as the lens that you put these extension tubes on. And the Tamron 28 to 75, beautifully tack sharp. But I do wonder that when you do add some extra distance, if that's going to kind of change the sharpness of the image. So definitely something to keep in mind. So I'm gonna give the point to the Pro Blends here for how sharp it is, but at, at what cost? Is it, I mean, ugh, 1600 bucks. All right, moving on. Now, one of the shots that I like the extension tubes for more was that coffee shot. Now, something to keep in mind with this Leoa Pro Blends, is that it is not easy to use. I've had this lens for a couple months now, and it's it's a difficult lens, getting everything stabilized and looking right. It's an F14. You need so much light, and you don't wanna crank up your ISO, so it's not an easy lens to use. So the shot quality, no doubt can the Leoa Probe do so many things that these extension tubes can't do, and it's going to look better but it's going to take so much more work. But if you're trying to shoot some B-roll for a YouTube video or just trying to get a quick, cool shot, the extension tubes are gonna be much easier to use. So you heard me bring up how you need a ton of light with the Leoa Probe. It starts at F14. You heard me correctly, F14. You need so much light with this lens in order to get a clean image and not have to crank up your ISO. Whereas with the extension tubes, I have a 2.8 lens here. I put these extension tubes on and I'm still at 2.8. I've got a little pros and cons list here that I was trying to word in a certain way, but you know what? Here we go. Extension tubes, cost 30 bucks, 1600 bucks compared to the Pro Lens. Obviously, gotta give that to the extension tubes. Having the open aperture. This is going to start at whatever lens you attach it to, unlike the Leo Probe and the portability. Throw it in your camera bag. If you just happen to want a macro shot while you're out and about shooting, you're ready to go. Not like this, where you're gonna have to carry this suitcase looking thing around. Not very portable. And now the cons to having the extension tubes. It's large and produces shadows. So when I had this on my Tamron, 
I was trying to get a super close up shot of my watch and I wasn't able to get that super close shot because my lens was casting a shadow on it. This is not waterproof. It's kind of rare that you need a lens to be waterproof, but that being said, it's worth mentioning if you slap this on to any lens. I mean, I, I don't need to explain that. Don't put your lenses in water unless it's this one, I guess. <laughs> And last, um, sharpness. Not quite as sharp, but then again, with so many variable factors, it's not enough to say that this is not near as sharp as the Leo Probe. It's close. So, the probe lens. Pros, it's sharper. It's waterproof. So you can put that whole entire barrel into the water. Maybe you wanna get some uh, salamanders or something. I don't know, ink drops or beer dropping into like a cooler looking thing. That's where this is gonna come in handy. It is a 14 millimeter. That's what kind of sets this lens apart from so many other macro lenses is that it's a wide angle macro lens that is that, it's amazing. I think it has like 17 pieces of glass inside of it. So wide angle, macro lens, fixed focal length. It's focus distance. It, you can touch the lens. It's like a, a millimeter off from the lens and you can focus on that. Now, like we said with the extension tubes, what about the shadow it's going to cast? Well, the Leoa Probe lens has built on LED lights for those who need the extra light or want to just go out and about and maybe put it inside of a tree log and see what animals you can find or who knows what. It's a pretty nifty feature. And of course, the number one reason this probe lens is so great is just the shape. You're able to go through things and the, whether it's a chessboard or you're able to use your lens to make everything else feel like larger than life. The reason the shape is so great is because you can get those impossible shots that look like this. But now I'm gonna show you a tip on how you can get shots that look similar. I mean, it's not gonna be the same, but it's gonna be pretty close on a much smaller budget. So, faking the probe lens look. The reason the probe lens can get such cool shots is because of this very narrow barrel leading to the lens. So, something that you might have laying around or something that's at least much cheaper than a probe lens is going to be an old GoPro. But I actually won't be using the GoPro today because uh, I have a new camera that I like quite a bit more. And that's going to be this, the Insta360 ONE R. This thing is a powerhouse, and right now I have the 360 lens on there. So I'm gonna snap off the 360 lens. Well, you could use the 360 lens for this, um, and I use the 360 lens for all my action videos, like this one. Isn't that wild? It looks like a drone flying in front. It's not that easy to edit and takes a little bit of extra time. Plus, I want to do this as an example for anyone who has an extra GoPro or action camera without 360 functionality. Wide angle lens on there. Just throw the battery back on. Bam. So I got it set up. I just grabbed a random camera stuff that I had laying around. And so you're going to grab your Insta360 or your GoPro or whatever action cam you have available, throw it on a boom pole. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Now, in conclusion, this lens is awesome. It is so much fun, but is it worth it? Am I glad that I bought it? Uh, no. Um, if I could go back, I would probably get a different lens, something that has a little more use to me. Uh, I only have a 28 to 70 and this for my a7 III. So if you're getting into macro or you just need some shots for macro here and there, $30 extension tubes can go a long way. And if you need to get that probe-like look shot, find yourself an old GoPro and do it that way. That's not to say that the probe lens can be easily replaced like that but for your average videographer and filmmaker, you can make it work without having to fork out 1600 bucks. But since I already have it, I'm gonna keep it and just keep it as like a, I don't know, a, a play lens. Thank you so much. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you next week.